Joining me here is Meg Sharp. Meg's our professional services manager. And what we're going to demonstrate today is a new Isolite system. So Meg, why don't you just take us through what this is all about and uh, the sort of impact it's making in the dental community. Sure, it's, um, it's a really new innovative product and um, it's probably about to change the face of dentistry so it gives a, 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 a whole other level of um, control of the oral environment. So this is the unit, it comes in three pieces. This, this is a uh, plastic polymer, so this is the mouthpiece which actually is the bit that gives you entire control over the oral environment. These pieces are um, part of the entire system. This is known as a vacuum pipe, so these are sterilizable between patients. Right. So each patient has a, a new piece. This is a, a light guide, which I guess really is the microprocessor. This is the brains of the whole okay. piece. Contains a, um, it's completely silicone molded, so it's safe in terms of sterilization and management. And a titanium head. So the mouthpiece is a, um, attached to the base of the... Does the mouthpiece need to get sterilised? Or? No, these are single use, okay. so these are disposable. In fact, I've just opened that. So right. just in front of us there um, are a variety of mouthpieces. There's five, so they fit, the uh, designed to right. meet the anatomy and morphology of all mouths. How would you, how would you determine which mouthpiece uh, is appropriate for the patient? So what we would do is ask the patient to open their mouth, so um, Kelly, if you would. So we just, uh, they, they are measured, measured in mil, obviously, so each right. one has a different millimetre, but we would just determine the um, incisal opening of the patient. So Kelly's open to mouth, I'd just insert uh, two fingers for a small, three for a medium, or for a large. So it's a pretty easy. Okay, so um, she's probably size. more medium? She's a medium, and so I'm quite happy to fit a medium into her mouth. Okay. So we've just put a little bit of lubricant onto Keely's lips so that the smoother the insertion is, the better for the patient, obviously. Um, I've just put a little bit of lubricant. The lubricant that comes with the kit is, is fundamentally just a, a, a normal aqueous-based body lubricant. So I'll just ask Keely to open her mouth. Um, I'm going to insert it. So the insertion technique's pretty important. It's unfortunately pretty easy to gag a patient if the technique is not correct. So when somebody, and a dentist is usually quite comfortable at placing a bite block in the mouth, so they tend to come through the centre of the mouth to place a bite block. So other than that, a change of techniques is really the, all that's required. So the um, mouthpiece, as I've said, is, is um, a, about a 40 Chure uh, polymer. So it's very pliable, um, soft, it meets gingival resistance really nicely in the mouth. So we fold, fold at the isthmus. Um, so if you just open Kelly, so we just insert it into the mouth. We insert, I'm going to insert the whale tail, as it's known, into the um, buccal sulcus of the opposing quadrant that I want to sit it in. So I fold it, I insert it, and I place it back onto the, um, just onto the molar, occlusal surface of the molars on the opposing quadrant. Tuck it into place. And I'm not, I'm not sure if you can actually see that. And so once the light's on, we see full illumination um, in the mouth. So the control um, is profound for the dentist when they're working. Um, the back of the throat is obturated, so there's no um, ingestion, there's nothing that can go down there. It's, it's kind of like a modern replacement for contemporary oral um, uh, rubber dam. It's a, it's a complete replacement for that. Right. So, um, is, she, is uh, she still able to breathe uh, normally through? Can you breathe, Keely? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, a, another way to demonstrate that. So one of the huge concerns is humidity in the mouth and the right. oral environment. So we can manage that by using this. So do you mind if I just block your nose? So if I close Keely's um, nose off, she will, is that comfortable? And you can still breathe through there? Yeah. She can still, she won't be able to talk, but she can communicate if she would want to. The, mm -hmm. I guess the goal for a dentist is that they don't. Mm. <laughs> um, <laughs> with respect to the patient, it's quite nice when they don't. So right, right. this is another way of gauging um, quite a bit of efficiency in procedural time. Right. So commonly an hour procedure would be reduced by about 10 minutes using a, a complete evacuation system like this. Well, that's huge when you have a full patient yep. load, doesn't yep. it? Yep, yep. And so some simple math around whatever your hourly rate is to mm. save that. So, mm. so, the, so the investment in the system is one thing, but the disposable mouthpiece at $3.90 um, per piece is cons considerable mm. saving in terms of ongoing treatment. Yeah. Okay. So apart from that, it gives um, full control. Mm -hmm. So there's a few things that are being achieved here. So if I was seated, um, you know, I've got, I've got 
control over my neck now, my posturing can be improved. So I'm not a, I'm not needing to guide my head like so a lot of dentists will have micro you know some kind of magnification, and they will wear a headlight on top of that. It's really heavy. Mm. Um, some have backpacks and things, but it, it sure. can be quite heavy. So the light is in the mouth is guided from external source. This way, the mouth is lit internally. Okay, so instead of them having to move their head into position. Yeah. 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 Right. So I can get myself positioned, yeah. and hopefully I can stay in that static right. posture, which is really important in terms of ergonomics. Right. Yep. What's the what's the suction quality like? Um, we have uh, multiple lines here? Yeah we have. So you've got dual um, evacuation here. So these little levers um, yep. control the evacuation and I'll show you that in a minute. So you can have upper or lower. So for patients with you know sort of root sensitivity mm. um, you can control the evacuation so they're not getting cold or chilled so that that's quite comfortable for them. In terms of comfort it probably kind of Kelly is probably comfortable. Um, so the because of the the plastic polymer, it's, it's you can sort of chew on it a wee bit. Okay. So as opposed to biting on a bite block, which is a, a hard rubber mm. um, piece of equipment, this is a, 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 almost a, um, it's like a passive chew, really. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So if I put some water into Kelly's mouth, you're okay with that? Mm. Yep. So if I just pour some water into there, that space. Can you open a bit wider, Kelly? Is it feeling quite comfortable? So that, that's, you know, there's, if I could pour a significant amount yep. in there, it'll just continue to drain right. away. Right. So that's, a, that's a, um, a really important part. When the clinicians are working, they can use the um, mouthpiece to rest the burr on, stop the burr. Um, they've got complete obturation of the throat, so nothing's going down there. Yeah, and the illumination itself is is, is pretty amazing. Yeah. Mm. yeah.